So today we're gonna create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop and I'm going to share two cool brushes that I use almost all the time during my design work. If you love designing and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe and there are a lot to cover inside the tutorial section. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go, we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And then right after that let's create a new solid and let's give it a kind of darker gray somewhere around here and let's click on OK and let's create a new layer and go to brush. So yep, so this is the brush we are going to test today and this brush gonna blow up your mind i'm sure if you want to create some abstract background this brush is so cool so let's see let's go for kind of uh, let's see yep. let's go for this brush and let's make it a little smaller and with a kind of uh, darker red and let's add a stroke right around here Let's go over here and let's drag and drop this image right around here and control T. Let's flip it in the other side. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's add a little rotation just like so or maybe some more. Yep, like that. And let's drag and drop another image. This one right over here and let's make it a little smaller just like that now let's create another layer and go to brush and this is one of my favorite brush and let's use this one and let's see let's go for yeah let's go for this one let's add a little rotation yep let's keep it like that and let's add a stroke right around here and you know what let's move him a little up right there control T make it a little smaller add a little rotation here like that and let's do the same thing for this one control T let's make it a little smaller and let's move it somewhere around here and let's create uh, one more layer in between go to brush and with the same brush and maybe let's change the color to kind of darker color and let's add a stroke right around here and maybe one more right around here all right now let's do some color adjustment so select this layer go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter very fresh let's drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows let's increase the texture let's increase the clarity yep maybe somewhere around here and for the vibrance let's increase the vibrance a little bit more and let's go to color mixer tab and now I, I want to change uh, this whole face into kind of more fleshy red tone so that's what we're going to do over here so go over here in saturation just increase the saturation for red and go to hue and let's move this red more toward kind of an, more to our red side and let's do the same thing for orange let's move it somewhere around this side yellow is too let's move it and right over here uh, let's go on saturation tab again and let's drop down the saturation for yellow a little bit yep and let's do for orange too yep let's keep it like that and then uh, i'll just keep it like that and let's click on ok so this is what we got and let's do the same thing for another lay another image so select this one go to filter let's go to camera raw filter now let's try applying a previous setting and so this is how it looks maybe let's drop down the exposure a little bit for this one 
yep maybe somewhere around here now let's click on okay so this is okay i think this is looking uh, pretty good to me and then uh let's go over here on very top create a new layer and let's go to edit let's go to fill and let's fill it with 50 percent gray and let's change the blending mode to soft light let's do some dozen burn i like to add a dozen burn because uh, it helps to create a depth on the image so let's go over here and let's add some dust let's add some dust right over here maybe some right around here and let's do the same thing for over here too and let's go over here add some burn let's add some burn right over here let's do the same thing from here this is before and this is after and then let's add a color lookup so go over here and click on color lookup and I'm going to use the inbuilt lots in Photoshop so let's see I like this one very much so let's go for fall colors so this is how it looks and I think it looks much better now and another thing let's go on this layer and then go to filter and let's add a neural filter and then on the portrait section just turn that skin smoothing on and let's change the blur value to around 62 i guess and this i guess this looks good and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for another layer so this one another image yep this one so select this one go to filter and let's apply the same neural filter I'll also keep it at 62 and let's click on ok and let's add some text let's go over here let's drag and drop this image right around here Control T let's add a rotation and let's keep it under this layer and then let's go over here filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's increase the clarity Increase the texture, drop down the highlights, increase the saddle a little bit and let's click on OK. And that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And from this year I'll try to be consistent and there are a lot of new changes coming up and I'll update you guys soon. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. Till then be creative and be safe. Bye bye.